In Studio 42, Dan Plesak, Harold Reynolds. Earlier tonight, we saw Carlos Correa play his 59th straight game without an error, which is a franchise record for a shortstop. We're always in 42 talking about hitting Harold. Mm -hmm. Let's do a little defense appreciation. All right, we will. But before we get there, Greg, I mean, Dan, we got to talk about that walk. What is that like? It, it's a helpless feeling. I've been Ramos before where you're out there and the more you try to tell yourself, relax, you know, he's taking. The bad part about that is when you, you have the bases loaded, you throw the 2-0 strike to get back in the count to 2-1. and one. You just as a pitcher, you know, you just give yourself a chance that sometimes the harder you try, the worse it gets. Yeah. And you could just tell Especially the last two, know. he spiked them. And you know the guy's not swinging. Well, you don't know. That's the problem. A guy like yeah. Shaw, who might be their best hitter right now. Yeah. So if that's a righty that you feel a little bit more comfortable, there if you just lay one in, two and one, go, okay, I'm not going to walk you. I mean, it's a bullet back up the middle for a base hit. You walk off the mound and go, I, I just can't lay one in there. So you're trying everything you can mm -hmm. to make quality pitches. Tough. Tough. All right, so, Greg, you're right. He entered tonight with 59 straight airless games, he being Carlos Correa. Tonight makes it 60. Let's go to videotape, and then we're going to break down why this guy is so consistent to me. And, you know, it's funny playing against his buddy Lindor. Lindor had a tremendous play, but I love what Carlos does on the defensive side. You know what I like about him? He's fundamentally sound. And if you're going to go on a streak like this, you got to be. Look at the footwork. It's all about his feet. This is extra work that he gets in, and every day is consistent, even on a double play. It's just basic fundamentals. But he can make the tough play, too. But look at this fundamental. Set yourself up, know your runners, and throw a dime across the diamond. Every time is what this guy does. But how about the play in the hole? This is the one you talk about because it's the highlight reel. But look at how he gets there. First, he starts upright. Then he breaks to go get a ground ball. I think we teach kids wrong. And the first thing we don't teach them is catch the ball in the web. On a backhand, it's in the web. One step, two, he already knows where he's throwing and gets rid of it. Amazing. But I love where he starts. Now, this is not the same play. Different hitter, same game. Oh, my goodness. Go do it. This time, throw it all the way in the air. But again, guys, it's where he starts. Starts upright, and that allows you to read the ball, go get it, and again, once again, catch a ball on the backhand in the web so it doesn't get real hard and you knock that ball down and then you get rid of it. But I want to talk about the approach. There's so many great things you could talk about. So to me, a lot of times, you know, we're right in that youth baseball circle right now. And what a lot of people are telling young infielders is getting that ready position. You know, you'll hear it tomorrow morning on the field. And that means getting this position right here. Well, when you're down here like this and now a ball's hit, you got to come up to go get it. Not many people cross over and go get a ball like that. So if you can get yourself in a position where you're upright, now you can read and explode. So, Dan, just roll one right at me. So I'm going to stand here, and then I can come through it and read it. Then go to my left. I start here. Now that allows me to break and go get it. And then to my right, I'm up here. Now I can break and go get the ball. All right, so don't get yourself locked into being here because roll the ball here. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to come up, and then I'm going to go back down. You want to be able to be in a position. I read it, and I go and get that baseball. And Carlos does an amazing job at being consistent that way. I love it. Quick, you know, we, we, we never talk about Carlos Correa as a guy that's going to grow out of the shortstop position. He's 6'4", 215. Yeah. He's only going to get bigger and bigger as he ages. Do you think he's a shortstop his entire career? No doubt about it. The fun, he's fundamentally sound. And I remember I played with Cal Ripken, who was probably had Carlos by 10, 15 pounds. As he gets older, even, positioning becomes a big key. So that's the whole thing. Learning your pitchers, your defense, standing where you can be, but consistent. Yeah, he'll play short. I think time. The, the most impressive thing is the clock that he has. He knows who's hitting the mm -hmm. ball, how much time he has. That throw that he made on Pujols, tough play. He knew it was Albert Pujols, gathered himself, and made a strong throw and didn't rush. And, and so, then when he has to be quick, he knows how to do yeah, that. Yeah, and so many people are into this charge, scoop it, and throw it off balance. That's where you get inconsistent. You watch the footwork. He set himself basically on every throw. That's how you do that for 60 straight games without an error. Keep it going, big boy, yeah, Carlos. He's been great.